sound. I want to share with you a message entitled, Our God is a Builder. Our God is a Builder. Mungu wetu ni mjenzi. Wakati nilipo kuwa napata ufunuo wa hili neno, ya kwamba our God is a Builder, I'm so surprised kuangalia vile Mungu huinua watu from very humble beginning anawajenga wanakuwa watu wakubwa hata wao wenyewe hawangejifikiria hivyo I believe all of us we have had testimonies of people who started from very humble beginning We have so many examples Praise the name of the living God Amen Unasikia mtu alikuwa anauza makaa Mungu anampeleka hivyo akiuza tu makaa anakuwa bilionea just from selling charcoal we have had testimonies of people from very humble beginning vile Mungu ako na uwezo wa kujenga watu and this is a point of our encouragement as we embrace the mandate that God has given us our encouragement is to know that our God is a builder Yaani Mungu anaweza kutujenga. Hata wakati tunaonekana wadhaifu, hata wakati tunaonekana wanyonge tu, hata wakati sisi wenyewe tunajidharau, our God is a builder. Ya kwamba he can take you when you are a nobody, when you are despising yourself, when you are rejected by men. Mungu akuchukue tu katika hiyo hali akujenge akakuinua viwango ambavyo wewe mwenyewe haujawahi kufikiria Praise the name of the living God Amen I desire today we tap that anointing that God may build us today in the name of Jesus Christ It is not about where you are today it is about where God is taking you Praise the name of the living God Unajua wakati Mungu anaongea he calls things which are not as if they were. Because he even gives the dead life. Praise the name of the living God. Mungu huita mambo ambayo hayako. Anayaita ni kama yako. Anamuita Abraham, baba wa mataifa. Sarah, mama wa mataifa. Lakini wako tasa. Because he is a builder. Anaweza kuchukua mti yeyote na akamjenga. Jina Bwana ipewe sifa. Haleluya. Na hata mimi sio tofauti. Mimi nikiangalia mahali Mungu amenitoa, nimeshawahi kuwapatia testimony ya kwamba mimi nimeandikwa kazi. Nimefanya kazi nyingi, lakini nimeandikwa kazi mara mbili za kuchunga, zile za house boy. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. God can build you from a nobody to somebody. I love this God. Napenda huyu Mungu ambaye ako na uwezo wa kujenga mti yote. I want to encourage somebody ambaye ako chini sana. Unafanya kazi za chini sana. I want to encourage you our God is a builder. Praise the name of the living God. Let's give a Lord a clap of offering of praise. Our God is a builder. He is a builder. He is a builder. He is a builder. Na wakati huo Mungu alikuwa ananijua tu. Paul alisema Mungu aliyeniita kutoka kwa tumbo ya mama yangu. So Paul anasema nilikuwa apostle hata wakati nilikuwa na ua watu. I was still an apostle. That means even those humble beginnings. Mungu alikuwa anajua ameniita nitamtumikia lakini alikuwa anataka kunifundisha kwamba he can build you from the lowly places. Anaweza kukujenga kutoka viwango vya chini sana. Na utamention watu kadhaa ambao amewajenga from nobody akawachukua akawajenga ye mwenyewe akaweza kuwaketisha na wafalme kwa sababu yeye ni Mungu mkuu na sio tu kuwaketisha na wafalme akawafanya wengine kuwa wafalme Wacha some katika kitabu cha First Chronicles chapter 17 First Chronicles chapter 17 let me read from verse 3, 1 Chronicles 17, from verse 3. The Bible says, That night the word of God came to Nathan, saying, Go and tell my servant David. This is what the Lord says, 
You are not the one to build me a house to dwell in. I have not dwelt in a house from the day I brought Israel up out of Egypt to this day. I have moved from one tent site to another, from one dwelling place to another. Wherever I have moved with all the Israelites, did I ever say to any of the readers whom I commanded to shepherd my people, why have you not built me a house of cinder? Verse 7. Now then, Tell my servant David, this is what the Lord Almighty says. I took you from the pasture and from following the flock to be ruler over my people Israel. This is God speaking to David. David. Now then, tell my servant David. Now David is a king and God is sending Nathan. And God is saying, now, then, tell my servant David, this is what the Lord Almighty says, I took you from the pasture and from following the flock to be ruler over my people Israel. Yani mungu anamuambia Daudi, mimi nilikuita, ulikuwa mchungaji kijana, nilikutoa kwa kufuata mifugo. Haa? Nika kufanya uwe kiongozi, uwe mchungaji wa taifa nzima. Praise the name of the living God. That is what God can do. And let me tell you, don't fear to give your testimonies of what God has done in your life. Usije ukaogopa kutoa ushuhuda. Because miracles belongs to us, but testimonies belongs to God. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Miujiza ni yetu. Lakini Mungu anapokea nini kutoka kwa miujiza? Anapokea utukufu tunapotoa ushuhuda wa matendo ya ukuu wake. Wakati Mungu atakapokubariki, wakati Mungu atakapokuinua, usifiche. Usitake kuonekana sasa wewe watu wanataka kujua wewe kwanza baba yako alikuwa milionea gani? Eh, mulikuwa na magari mangapi nyumbani? Wambia tulikuwa na punda. Praise the name of the living God. Hiyo ndiyo ilikuwa gali yetu. Jina abana ipewe sifa. Amen. Wambia baba yangu haku wa milionea. Baba alikuwa mlevi. Tulikuwa tunamusikia. Tunaingia chini ya kitanda. Tunalara chini ya kitanda. Jina abana ipewe sifa. Because our God is a builder. Anaweza kukutoa chini sana. Aka kueka viwango, vya juu kabisa, abavi ya kuna mwanadamu kwa uwezo wake, anaweza kufikia. Verse 8, First Chronicles chapter 17, verse 8, the Bible says, I have been with you wherever you have gone. Wow. And I have cut off all your enemies from before you. Now, I'll make your name, I'll make... Now, I will make your name like the names of the greatest men of the earth. Wow. Uni mungu anaongea. Anamuambia Daudi, nimekua pamoja na wewe kila mahali ulienda. Ata wakati ulikuwa katika ngome. Ukitorokea sol, usiwawe, bado nilikuwa na wewe. Ata wakati ulienda zikrak. Wake zako wakaibiwa na mali zote. Nilikuwa na wewe. Ata wakati ulitaka kuangamizwa ukajifanya kichaa. Ukaanza kumwaga mate. Kwa sababu ulikuwa katika hatari. Bado nilikuwa na wewe. Praise the name of the living God. Nataka ni kuambie buwana ako pamoja na wewe. Ata kama ulikuja hapa kama nyumba imefungwa. Buwana ako pamoja na wewe. Praise the name of the living God. Ata kama leo umevaa socks ambayo umekuja inchi tatu pale mbele. Kwa sababu ya mashimo, bado akopa moja na wewe. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Wewe tundi utakuwa na socks mpia, zinaka mezi kwa nyumba, hauzivai kwa sababu ya vile zimekuwa nyingi. Akopa moja na wewe. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. 
You know kuna hali ambazo huwa tunafikiria ni kama Mungu ametuacha. Bwana asifiwe sana. Lakini Mungu anamwambia Daudi kutoka kwa kufuata mifugo. Shida zile zote umezipitia mpaka mahali nimekufikisha ni mimi nimekuwa pamoja na wewe. Praise the name of the living God. Si Bwana aenende pamoja na sisi katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Praise the name of the living God. It is not the current situation that matters in your life. Praise the name of the living God. What matters is the Lord together with you. Sio ile hali uko inayojalisha, kile kinachojalisha, je, Bwana uko pamoja na mimi? Because if he, if he is together with me, it is well with my soul. Praise the name of the living God. It doesn't matter the darkness in your life. It doesn't matter the valleys and the mountains in your life. What matters is the Lord together with you. Praise the name of the living God. And that is why we should do everything to maintain the presence of God, to maintain our contact with God. It doesn't matter if you are sleeping hungry. Praise the name of the living God. Haijalish kama unalala nja. Haijalish kama ulitembea miguu ukija kanisani na utarudi miguu ukienda nyumbani. It doesn't matter. Haijalish kama uko na nguo mbili peke yake siku ya leo. It doesn't matter. Praise the name of the living God. What matters is the Lord together with you. Praise the name of the living God. Bwana anamwambia Daudi, I have been together with you wherever you have gone. In all your troubles, in all your challenges, I have been together with you. Hey! Praise the name of the living God. Can somebody shout, oh master, go with me. Can somebody shout, oh my master, go with me. Praise the name of the living God. It's not about your condition. Unajua wakati mwingi tunasumbuliwa na hali badala ya tusumbuliwe na kuwa na Mungu. Jina bana ipewe sifa. Watu wa mataifa wanasumbuliwa na hali. Lakini sisi kama wana wa ufalme tunafaa kusumbuliwa am I right with God? Am I ways pleasing before him? Praise the name of the living God. Am I doing the will of God in my life? It doesn't matter the challenges. But am I doing the will of God for my life? I have been with you wherever you have gone. And then God told him, I have cut off all your enemies. If God is together with you, one day he will cut off all your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. Kama ako pamoja na wewe. Siku moja utaangalia maadui zako wote utawakosa. Hey, praise the name of the living God. He will cut off all your enemies. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yaani ni kana kwamba Mungu akitembea na mtu huwa anachekelea maadui wake. Bwana asifiwe sana. Anawaangalia tu naambia najua wakati wewe ni mfupi wa kumutesa. Amen. Yaani ni kama Mungu akitembea na wewe kila wakati anachora strategy ya vile ata cut off maadui wako. It can be financial challenges. It can be family challenges. You know, that tells you that problems and challenges can be there and God is still there. Bwana sio sana. Unajua wakati mwingine tunafikiria ati maadui na shida haziwezi kukaa pamoja na Mungu. Mungu na shida na maadui kuna wakati wanakaa tu pamoja. But the good thing, the good report I have for you, wakati Mungu wewe na Mungu na shida muko pamoja 
Mungu anapanga kuondoa maadui wako wote katika jina la Yesu. Bwana waondole maadui katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ninawatangazia Bwana amekuleta hapa ukubali kutembea na wewe na siku moja utaangalia maadui wale wote walio kusumbua utawakosa. Utakuwa unauliza ni mimi kweli nilikuwa nashindwa kulipa nyumba. Ni mimi kweli nilikuwa naona kama huu ni mlima katika maisha yangu kama sitaweza kupanda. Nataka nikutangazie siku moja utaangalia maadui zako utawakosa. Bora tu Bwana ako pamoja na wewe. Utashangaa kama ni mimi nilikuwa nakopa right left center ni madeni. Bwana ataondoa maadui zako zote. Praise the name of the living God. Walio kuvizia, walio jaribu kukuendea, wengine watajaribu uganga, watajaribu uchawi, watajaribu maombi mabaya, lakini wacha nikwambie kama Bwana ako pamoja na wewe maadui wako wote siku moja atawakatalia bali. Hey! Praise the name of the living God. Can somebody declare our God is a builder? Praise the name of the living God. Aka muambia Daudi verse 8, 1 Chronicles 17, 8b. Aka muambia, now I'll make your name like the names of the greatest men of the earth. Praise the name of the living God. And I'll provide a place for my people Israel. And I'll plant them so that they can have a home of their own and no longer be disturbed. Bwana aki ni kumbuka, si ya wakumbuke. Mungu alimuambia Daudi, si ita kukumbuka peke yako, ni ita kumbuka nyumba yote ya Israeli. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Wicked people will not oppress them anymore as they did at the beginning. And I have done ever since the time I appointed leaders over my people Israel. I will also subdue all your enemies. I declare to you that the Lord will build a house. He is a builder. That the Lord will build a house for you. When your days are over and you go with your forefathers, I will raise up your offspring to succeed you, one of your own sons, and I will establish his kingdom. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Mungu anamwambia Daudi vile amemjenga na vile atakavyo endelea. Unajua kuna mambo tunaweza kufikiria. You know when you, we are spiritual sometimes we may lose the picture ya kwamba the greatest name you hear all over the world ni Mungu hufanya majina ya watu yawe makubwa na Mungu anajua Na Mungu akamwambia Daudi, mimi najua jinsi naweza kufanya jina lako liwe kubwa kama majina ya wafalme wakubwa duniani. And I think that this is a way that God works because it's the blessing of Abraham. Alimwambia Abraham, I will make your name great. Praise the name of the living God. There is a way God can build you to have a name. From nobody to somebody. Praise the name of the living God. The chains of businesses we hear and big names of companies, big names of supermarkets, one day they were in a kiosk somewhere. You know, Bana, you see, Bana. Siku ya leo, tunaweza kuona hizo biyashara kwa kira matangazo. Lakini historia inaweza kukuambia walianza from a very humble beginning. Lakini siku ya leo wanaweza kujulikana dunia nzima. Sasa Mungu anamwambia Daudi, mtumishi wangu, mimi najua kale kanjia ambako huwa anapitishia watu. Baadaye ninawafanya watu wakubwa nitakupitishia hapo. Nitajenga jina lako liwe jina la kutajika kama la wafame wakubwa duniani jina la bwana lipewe siku wapendwa usiogope kusimamia kile mungu amekuitia ukaweze kusimamia mimi sitaogopa kusimamia kile mungu ameniitia 
kusimamia. People can despise you. Wengine hata wanaweza kusikia wanakutema mate. But it doesn't matter. I know a God who is a builder. Praise the name of the living God. Najua Mungu ambaye anajua kujenga watu. Najua Mungu ambaye anajua kuinua kutoka mavumbini anaketisha na wafalme. Huyo Mungu ninamjua na huyo Mungu ni baba yako. He is your God. Praise the name of the living God and he can build you. It doesn't matter where you are today, but I have come to prophesy to you that he is going to build you. Praise the name of the living God. Receive the grace of God upon your life. He will build your mind. He will give you the wisdom. He will give you the ideas. He will open doors for you. He will go ahead of you. He will break the gates of bronze because he is a mighty God. Our God is a builder. Receive the grace of God. Hey! Dina Rabana nipewe sifa. Nani ajuae kujenga watu kama huyu Mungu? Bwana asifiwe sana. Na unajua Mungu anapokujenga habahatishi. Kile kinafanya nijue habahatishi. Hebu tusome katika kitabu cha 1 Samuel chapter 16. First Samuel chapter 16 from verse 12 of First Samuel 16 from verse 12 of So he sent and had him brought in that is David he was laddy with a fine appearance and had some features then the Lord said lies and anoint him he is the one verse 13 <laughs> So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers and from that day in the spirit from that day on the spirit of the lord came upon david in power samuel then went to lama praise the name of the living god hallelujah biblia inasema ya kwamba samueli akainuka akaweza kumtilia mafuta Jina bana ipewe sifa. Wakati Samuel alifika katika nyumba ya Jesse, yeye kwa kuangalia kwake kuna watu wale hata yeye alikuwa anaona wanastahili. Jina bana ipewe sifa. Kuna watu walikuwa wanaonekana wanastahili. Lakini wakati Daudi alikuja, Mungu akamwambia, "Ni huyu. He is the one." That means kwa macho ya Samuel, pengine hata Samuel alikuwa anafikiria ni, ni uzee unazuilia una aone anajipanguza anajaribu kuona ni nani huyu naenda kumwagilia mafuta Mungu anakuambia he is the one praise the name of the living god yani kumaanisha when god is building somebody yani sio kubahatisha huwa anabahatisha anaweza kuchagua mtu ambaye hafai haonekani kama anaweza lakini Mungu amchukue kwa sababu anajua atamjenga. Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba kuanzia siku hiyo roho wa Mungu akashuka juu ya Daudi kwa nguvu. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Let me give you the secret here. If you desire God to build you, be a friend of the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of the living God. Kama unatamani kujengwa na Mungu lazima ukubali kuwa rafiki wa Roho Mtakatifu. Kwa sababu watu wale wote nimeona Mungu amewajenga ni roho wa Mungu alishuka juu yao akawajenga. Hata mtu kama Saul alipokuwa anatafuta punda anaambiwa utakuwa mfalme wa Israeli. Anamwambia Samueli, "Bona kuniambia jambo kubwa namna hiyo." Samueli akamwambia roho wa Mungu atashuka juu yako atakubadilisha atakufanya kuwa mtu mwingine Praise the name of the living God Unajua ni kwa sababu kanisa la wakati huu limekuwa kiwete Unajua ni kwa nini kanisa limekosa kujengeka katika wakati wetu ni kwa sababu kanisa limekataa roho wa Mungu Praise the and that is a demonic strategy kwa sababu tukikataa Roho Mtakatifu hatuwezi kujengwa. Hata watu wa dunia 
wanaojiunganisha na madhabahu mengine huwa wanajengwa na mapepo wanaweka mizimu wanaweka manyoka iwajenge kupitia mapepo yale lakini sisi tutajengwa na nani tutajengwa na roho mtakatifu praise the name of the living god tutajengwa na roho wa bwana mtu ambaye anatamani ako na ahadi ya bwana anajua bwana ameniita anataka kunijenga lazima huyo mtu awe rafiki na roho mtakatifu praise the name of the living god hata Yesu mwenyewe kabla hajaanza huduma yake Isaiah 61 and verse 1 the bible says the holy spirit is upon me because he has anointed me praise the name of the living god yeye roho wa Mungu yu juu yangu na yeye amenitilia mafuta jina la bwana ipewe sifa hata Yesu mwenyewe dio ajengwe a make impact ambayo alimake kwa miaka mitatu peke yake akafanya miujiza mingi alifanya hiyo impact kwa sababu alikubali roho mtakatifu akaweza kumjenga akaweza kumsaidia akamwezesha praise the name of the living god si bwana atusamehe si roho wa mungu atusamehe kule tumemhuzunisha kule tumemweka kando kule tumefikiria tunaweza bila yeye kule tumerudi katika hali ya udini na hali ya kawaida si bwana atuwezeshe kumrudia roho wake mtakatifu praise the name of the living god somebody say welcome holy spirit somebody shout thou art welcome upon my life praise the name of the living god kama tutajengwa And I'm not saying about a casual relationship. Eh? Sio ile casual tu ya kusikia some some goops. Eh nimesikia ka kitu hivi. Ka roho wa Mungu akipita. Hapana ninaongea juu ya intimate fellowship. Praise the name of the living God. Ule ushirika wa ndani. Kule mnakuwa na communion kule mnashikana na nguvu za roho mtakatifu anaanza kufanya kazi katika maisha yako sio kufanya kwa njia ambayo haielewi bali kwa njia ambayo wewe mwenyewe unajitoa na kujiachilia praise the name of the living god wakati roho Mungu alichuka juu ya Saul Saul alianza ku akiwa amelala chini paka watu wakauliza kwani mpaka Saul amekuwa nabii kwa sababu dio akubadilishe hawezi kukubadilisha ukiwa na casual relationship. Lazima iwe intimate. Lazima kuwe ni kule kushikana na yeye kabisa. Praise the name of the living God. Katika hiyo hali ya kushikana hauwezi kubaki vile ulivyokuwa. Mkiendelea hivyo utakuta ya kwamba alikubadilisha, alivunja vunja nira, alivunja marango ya shaba, aliondoa vizuizi, alikupatia nguvu za kutengeneza utajiri, alibadilisha sauti yako, alibadilisha mawazo yako, amebadilisha hali zako kwa sababu yeye ako na nguvu za uumbaji. Hey receive the holy spirit afresh today in the mighty name of Jesus as we embrace this mandate we must tell the holy spirit thou art welcome praise the name of the living god hallelujah na diposa mungu alikuwa anakasirika na Musa wakati Musa anasema i have not i have never been eloquent mimi sijakuwa mtu ambaye ako na uwezo wa kunena Mungu anakasirika na muuliza nani apatiae mwanadamu uwezo wa kunena? Si ni mimi Mungu. Sinaweza kukubadilisha. Sinaweza kukujenga msa. Sinaweza kukufanya kile ambacho nataka kufanya. You are going to be a god. Wewe hautakuwa mfalme farao, wewe utakuwa kama Mungu. Aaron atakuwa nabii wako. Praise the name of the living God. Can somebody say our God is a builder? Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Nataka tuamini Bwana siku ya leo ya kwamba Bwana atatujenga. Wagapi wanaamini Bwana atanijenga? 
Praise the name of the living God. Tuache kuzoea nyumba ya Bwana. Tuache kuzoea tukisema tunaomba, tunafunga, tuache kuzoea. Tujue ya kwamba hii sio dini. Mungu wetu anatujenga, anatubadilisha. Praise the name of the living God. Naachilia hiyo neema, neema ya kuwajenga katika jina Yesu. Naachilia hizo nguvu, naachilia huo upako, upako wa kuwajenga. Bwana atawajenga, Bwana atawajenga, Bwana atawajenga, Bwana atawajenga, Bwana atawajenga katika jina la Yesu, mtamiliki muji katika jina la Yesu, mtamiliki biashara zote nzuri mahali ambapo uko Bwana atakujenga hiyo biashara unayofanya you shall take dominion you be at the top in the mighty name of Jesus kwa sababu Bwana atakujenga Hey! Thank you for watching this program. We know it has been a blessing to you. We highly appreciate your prayers and support. To get Apostle John Kimani's messages in its whole entirety, call the numbers on your screen. God bless you. All the days of my life, I want to gaze upon you.